UV has now disappeared. It's now gone to the junkyard in the sky. It's probably already a cube by now, to be honest. I'd uh, filled it up with everything else from every other car that I'd ever taken apart. I've taken out a few bits that are worth keeping. Got some uh, kind of stripy seat covers that Smart sold for a while. Obviously the battery and the thing and bits of plastic that are nice and easy to send. I kept the front because uh, I've got an idea about uh, a project I want to do. It's going to involve cutting the uh, front panels up a little bit. But did a little order from Smart for uh, repairing a bit more of the hashtag one. Originally, I thought I'd quite like to drive it around looking you know, a bit beaten up, but the more it gets fixed, the more I like it looking nice. So, just to fix a few more of the issues, we've got B pillar cover. Okay, I just it's got clips, stand size one, little mini. Oh, that's so cute! And then bolts going there. I've ordered uh, a new rubber seal that goes around it, but it doesn't turn up. When I ordered these things, noisy trains. Yeah, I've ordered a front bumper, B pillar, and the uh, uh, rubber trim. And they said, oh, there's none in England, there's none in Germany. We don't know when they'll turn up. Uh, I ordered them Monday, turned up on Thursday. So... And they were actually turn up a day late as well. They were supposed to turn up on the Wednesday. So, so much for their, uh, their stock taking abilities. So that will go on tomorrow, I reckon. Now I've got a bit of room in here. I can have a good little tidy up. Make enough room to get something in there. All right, this is, there's no way that's going to be yeah. uh, painted the right colour. You can absolutely guarantee it's going to be plain and unpainted. So then I'm going to have to decide whether or not to either get it painted or just because I'm going to get, think about getting the car wrapped anyway. So is there any reason to? Get it painted if I'm going to get it wrapped. It's really deep. That's a, that's, a, that's a hell of a box. It's massive. It's not racist, that's not racist. Um, it's, uh, it's not exactly the smoothest either. I mean, considering we've got this sort of damage and that sort of damage, that looks a lot better. I just have to pop it over to the, uh, the spraying guys and get it sorted. And fit it, and while I've, uh, God, while I've got it off the car, I can get the headlight fitted and do a little resin repair to the corner of the other one. I can't believe the size of that box it is enormous. Oh yeah, I fit in this box nicely. There's my feet. Oh yeah, just like being buried alive.
Look at these. Evolution, right? Got the 450. Got the 451. We got the 452. We got the 453. And we've got all of them. Obviously, except for the hashtag one, because that was the other one. But also, little evolution ones, little boo, bendy PVC ones. So make your key ring awesome. Mm. All of these on the Etsy shop. Go on there and purchase some shit. Right, we've got a mishmash of shit to do today. I'm feeling a bit dizzy for some reason, not quite sure why. I haven't been drinking or anything. But we've got this one because this damage on the front bumper. Bought myself a new one. It's 150 quid from Smart, brand new. So, took the uh, spray pill. They no, got it sprayed. A couple of days later, got it back. And I figured as I'm taking that off to fit that, I might as well change this head like that's just ugly. So, uh, I'm going to take the negative battery terminal off. All I'm going to do is I've got a some of these little rubber caps. The problem is you haven't really got much room to take it off and it, if it falls back on, it could spark and cause issues. So a little rubber cap on it. One of these sizes. Just to push over the battery terminal so it doesn't make contact again. Right, there you go. Put the uh, little rubber cap in the way so it can't touch it. Worth noting, of course, that if the car is locked and you remove the battery, the alarm goes off. And you can't turn the alarm off because the battery is disconnected. So that's fine. So I have to reconnect the battery, turn it off, unlock the car, and then remove that. What the fuck around? Right, the audio is going to be a bit shit because like, nothing's been charged up. So I'm not going to be talking anyway. The thing with this car is uh, I don't really understand how things are bolted in because you can't get to half these bolts. This one here is bolted in from the back. You can't get to it. So you have to take it off with this piece as well. Take it off, you have to take that off. Take it off, you have to take that off. It's just got pissed around. There's nothing that zip ties won't sort out. Well, I don't want to jinx myself, but I don't think I have to take this off now. I'll just stick two more in there. There should be four bolts holding that in on the wrong side. I think car manufacturers have got to learn 
it's okay, it's okay to use it. Oh, I also saw another one of these crashed on Copart, the second one. Uh, again, Brabus, as to be expected. Uh, all black, looked really good. The damage didn't look too bad, if you don't know what you're looking for. And the fact that I didn't bid on it shows you how bad it actually was. There's, um, and we, uh, from the photographs, it looked like it was just a few things needed replacing on the front end, but that entire front end had been shifted over. Because there was a, there's a bit of plastic in here, and you could see both of them were twisted over something. Neighbor. The whole thing was twisted over by uh, 10 degrees, so it looks like the entire front end had been pushed over to one side and I thought that is a lot of hassle. So good luck to anyone who bought it. It looked good but not that good. So I don't mind forcing this one out, but I don't want to force it on I actually thought this, uh, there's a very slight crack in this corner. A tiny little bit's come out. And I thought it'd gone into the headlight, but it hasn't. So I might have to deal with that up. Right, new headlight in. and get to the headlight. New headlight, surprisingly, with the ballast. So you don't have to start swapping anything over, which is nice. Yeah, it took a little bit of rejigging and now it's alright, it's actually the same height as this one, just this is sitting a bit low because it has you connected to this bumper so when it moves up, the whole thing moves up into prep position. the uh, broken corner piece and you see it don't go all the way through I'm sure I can build it up with something I'm not quite sure what somewhere I've definitely got uh, black hot glue that sounds like something that might fill that gap out I'll get back to you well, I've been having to think about it I think the closest to plastic would be super glue. So I've got some O3A, which is stuff I've used for making guitars before, and it's probably the best super glue I've ever used. This is black thick. And I'm sure there's probably a racist joke in there that I'd normally tell when I'm not on camera. And then the accelerator, which makes it makes the car go faster. So if you spray on, it goes faster, I think. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll, uh, Create a little, little protection and like a little dam, and I'll put a few spots in, accelerate it, keep, keep building up, and hopefully it'll look better than something missing. Right, let's say headlight done. The corner sort of ran off a little bit. This has got to lift up slightly to go 
Go along with this one. Right, so now we've got to move that, that, and then there's a little sensor underneath it as well. Both sides. And they've got to be put onto a new one. Parking sensors. Apparently, if you go to Smart, they want a lot of money. But to be honest, they look like many other different types of sensors you can buy for a lot cheaper. Pay attention to the connection type and the size, and uh, hopefully, you'll be able to find cheaper ones for other people. Right, now we've got to put these onto the other bumper. Right, there you go. All the bits put back on. So now, that. It's got to go in there. It's amazing how floppy these are. If you try and pick this up one end, it'll be folding off. Right, that was a grey day amount of fucking around. And somehow I've managed to have got uh, lots of different fixings, but there's actually nowhere to put them, so I don't really understand. However, everything does line up fairly well. That's all. Obviously it goes without saying that I've lost my 10 mil somewhere. I've used a backup. Right, I'm gonna have to watch the video back with you because I've put bolts in absolutely everywhere I could find them yet yeah, somehow just from taking the front off I've got all those I do not understand not that it really matters because there's no way I'm taking that off again if this falls off on its own then fair enough then I'll consider those but how the hell has that happened This headlight works as well, that's a nice little surprise. It's not all broken. Can't really see there, but that's where the repair was. I think what I need to do now is I'll have a little play with uh, my polish, I think. Try and take a bit of that out. That one come out through to the plastic. I'll get a few of those out. Right, okay. Because this particular charging mat is absolute shit, I thought what I'd do is, like I'm with my other cars, I'd get myself a little Apple uh, wireless charge type thing because it sticks to the back of the the phone holds it all in place with magnets, and that's fine. Now the issue was that if you buy it from Apple, well, obviously apart from it being quite expensive, the lead on it is far too long. So I bought this one. It's got a USB-C one side, lightning port the other side, so you can then put in any size cable you want. So I bought a tiny little one with a little right angle connector. And what I'll do is, I will adhere that in there somehow, and then connect it up. 
Now, what you don't want to do is take this out because in here is a coil that charges the phone. In here is a coil. Now, if you do both coils, That's really pissing it off. So, yeah, you can either use this or create a new insert, whatever. Um, what I'll do is so that go ahead like so. going there like that that'll get connected probably glued down or something out like there and there's just enough room underneath the underneath all that for the cable so when you actually put your phone down when you put your iPhone down you have a nicely locking place until I can work out which connector or fuse it is to turn this off I'm not going to, be able to take this the rubber mat out which is a shame Right, next weekend, we're in the uh, the orange and grey one. We're going to look at this steering wheel. We're going to replace it with this steering wheel. Now, I know you're thinking, why the hell would you replace a perfectly good steering wheel with another perfectly good steering wheel? This is brand new, by the way. Now, I don't know if you can really see. Now, I can't tell whether or not that is real leather. It's black and shiny, just looks a bit shit. Whereas this one, it's sort of a bit more matte and just fit, feels a bit nicer. Now that's not the only reason. Now this is an 2018 car. Before the steering wheel had that special little bit in it. Now that, controls the steering wheel heating. So this car hasn't got a steering wheel heater, but in the facelift ones, when you turn the heated seats on, these little bits here heat up, which is really quite nice. Now I didn't think I'd uh, really appreciate it as much as I did until I started driving the my 21 plate black one. And the, uh, yeah, the heat steamer was just something you've got to have. So, yeah, uh, the thing is that these seats have got one of these in it. Now, I wonder if the different revisions decide whether, whether or not these seats turn off after like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, wherever it is. Because in this one, they turn off 15 minutes and in the four... In the 4.4, they don't turn off. Or well, the other way around, I can't remember. I've been looking at the the wiring diagrams. Now, this is totally self-sufficient because this is what controls the actual heating part of it. But then it must take power and stuff if pressing this button turns this on. So that is the job for the during the week to have a look through the the wiring and try and work out where it picks up from the seat. Hopefully there's a connector under there, under there somewhere. So that'll be a job for next weekend along with changing the washer pump in that one.
and for some reason, I think the seals fail inside them because it, it takes a good 10 seconds for the water to start squirting out, which is obviously no good. But strangely, in the left-hand drive and the right-hand drive one, they've got different pump numbers and the description is different. So one's a centrifugal pump and one was something else. So it might even not affect the left-hand drive ones. But yeah, that's on its way. So unfortunately, I bought the wrong one. So yeah, next week we'll fit that and I'll film it. Have, 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 have. No, still works. All right, I've had to come out at dead of night in the spaceship just to make sure that the headlights are at the right level and not pointing at the ground or pointing at the sky. They seem to be fine. I'm either really good fitting them or they're uh, adjusted correctly from the factory.